Nathan, thank you. As the weather warms up, the familiar sight of electric scooters and bikes will return to downtown Fort Wayne. Via Ride started bringing its vehicles back to the streets and sidewalks April 1st. Wayne 15's Ethan Dolan joins us now with more. View Ride started providing alternative transportation to Fort Wayne's downtown in 2019 and each year since has rolled out its fleet. And while it's already deployed many of its vehicles, a few more electric scooters and pedal bikes will be added in the weeks to come. However, according to VO operations manager Eric Syroth, the pedal bike and scooter may soon become just part of VO's repository. Permission pending, the company is trying to introduce a pair of new vehicles for Fort Wayne's residents. Some of our newest iterations of vehicles that we have to offer for VO, uh, this being our Class 2 e-bike. Um, it is uh, electric throttle, um, but if you find yourself wanting to pedal, you can do that as well. We have also here is the newest version of our stand-up scooter. A um, lot of safety features on here, uh, working turn signals, so you can turn left, right, um, there. We also have a talking IoT. Uh, which were able to send voice commands to uh, the users in the event that they were riding outside of the geofence or it's been knocked down and needs to be picked up. We're currently working uh, and talking with the city um, to see if this would be a viable option for consumers out here in the city. So uh, we'd love to get these on the street, um, maybe do a test uh, run of a few uh, at a time, and then hopefully by the end of this year we'll be able to see more and more of these. In the past, VO has faced some safety questions, but Syroth tells me VO is working with the city to find sound and safe measures. This includes a curfew that is already in place, which doesn't permit riding between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. The vehicles also have an optional educational mode for newer riders that reduces the top speed of 15 miles per hour. He stressed to me that introducing these new vehicles safely by educating riders was another big factor in finding the right fit with the city. Ethan Dolan. Wayne 15 News. Ethan, thanks. The Allen County Public Library Board of Trustees.